Good morning folks. I guess from the look of this car you know where we are. Yes, we are at Bobby Victory here in Puchong. And today I'm getting back the savvy. Yes, the Angry Bird savvy has been touched up. A lot of you actually uh, spoil the surprise, but it's okay, I forgive you. It just shows that we're all the same summer kapala, yeah? Yes, I decided that uh, I would get the B pillars done. So as you can see now, it's one piece of black there. Very, very cool. It kind of makes the car look slightly bigger as well, which is really nice. Uh, the more eagle-eyed among you would know that uh, I've now got Momo Racing sponsorship for the car. Thank you, Momo Racing. Yes, Momo Racing is Italian oil, and uh, they're gonna be sponsoring the next oil change for this car, as well as something at the back there. So anyway, but just before we get to that, check out the B pillars now. And yes, this is Faiz's own handiwork. He has made the R3 up there with a yellow liner. Very nice. Now, of course, you know this car is not an R3. It's a CW Special, but uh, it's an R3 spoiler. So that's the only part of the car that's R3, yeah? So please don't accuse me of being like a BMW owner who puts an M badge on a non-M BMW. That is a genuine, original OEM R3 spoiler. The rest of it is not. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's just try and forgive and forget for that. So, where's my bro? There's my bro, Faiz. How are you? Good morning, bro. Good morning. Everything good? good? All good? Yeah, I can see you're doing some car at the back there. But let's talk about this beautiful Italian Bella. So, folks, this is going to be Faiz's oldest car that he's ever done. <laughs> and it's part of a project that we're talking about, we were talking about recently. Instead of painting a classic, if the paint is already okay, I'm not saying this car's paint is good, if the paint is already okay, Faiz, you can actually touch up the body and then we can do a wrap. I have never wrapped a classic car and I'm, I'm very curious to find out how this is going to work because I'll tell you why we're doing this. Classic cars are prone to rust, a lot of rust. So, my theory is that if you wrap the body and don't allow water to get into the paint, which will cause rust, which I'll show you in a while, that might actually be good for classics. And this car is 42 years old. <laughs> double your age, Jafar is? Almost double your age, yeah? Yeah, and I think this is the first car you're gonna work on where the bumpers are actually apart from the body. Yeah? Two pieces, normally cars have bumpers that are integrated into the body. This car has bumpers that, have, that can be removed uh, from, the, from the body. So yeah, double, uh, double work for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Let's walk around this car a little bit. As you know, classics, they tend to, yes, they don't fare very well when it comes to um, our weather. That, that's pure rust there. That's, that screw has already been rusted through. But worse, part of the body has actually started to chip with rust at the bottom. One, two, three spots that I can see. Yes, legit 100% Alfa Romeo. So this can all be touched up. Yep, Faiz, you can, you can actually touch that up. So there's gonna be a lot of touching up done to this car before he can even think about wrapping it. And as far as thinking about wrapping it is concerned, I've got some very, very interesting news for all of you. Momo Racing is actually gonna sponsor, sorry, Momo Racing, Kenzone, and Bobby Victory are actually gonna sponsor the wrap for this classic. And it is the first time I'm ever wrapping a classic car. So classic car enthusiasts out there, this is another option that we're gonna look at, another option for you to choose. Instead of painting your car, which is what you would normally do, how about considering a wrap? I have, like I said, a theory that wraps would actually be beneficial for classic cars because it stops the rain, the, the water, from going into the, uh, into the metal. And as it is, the metal that was used in this car wasn't that great. I think they made it from old tanks or something. Or steel drums. Anyway, very, very excited to see. He has not told me yet whether he's going to use Avery Denison or Carve. <laughs> but we will see. Now, the color scheme is going to be left uh, to Faiz. Because we have to work. We have four colors to work with. We are Italian flag, which is uh, red, green and uh, white. Uh, and then the yellow color for Momo Racing. Yes, as you can see, Momo Racing is yellow with black. So yeah, Momo Racing is yellow and black. The Italian flag is uh, Italian flag colors. So you got a lot of colors to choose from. And so the design is gonna be a lot of colors to play with. Yeah, a lot of, uh, and a lot of uh, designs that you can, can do. This is a long-term project, of course. 
not expecting this car to be done as quick as you did this. This was, <laughs> this was fast, man. I expected it to be about 20 days, but you did it in eight. eight I days. counted eight days from, from what it looked like till now, eight days. Wow. So, bro, your big challenge. The oldest car you have ever done, I think, yeah? Yeah, so you must treat her with a little bit of care and respect <laughs> because, yeah, as you know, it's Italian and, uh, and very, uh, I don't know, temperamental. <laughs> she must like you before she will start. <laughs> but uh, yes, actually, I'm quite happy also that the car will be parked indoors while during the duration of this uh, project. But there's so much, yeah, he's already going through it. There's so much to look at and so much to be done that uh, I'm so excited. This is the oldest car in my garage, and uh, in Weevil garage. And it's about time she got some bling. That's the nicest way I can put it, Faiz. It's about time she got some bling. I mean, I hope she doesn't get jealous of this amazing looking car that you did. And uh, being Italian, uh, she might get a bit jealous and then refuse to start. But don't worry, girl. You're in good hands here. And uh, Faiz is gonna take care of you as well as he has taken care of the savvy i'm so so happy with the savvy it's amazing look at it just an amazing looking thing wow awesome i mean really really awesome this this is one of the best cars i've ever seen you do bro really it looks so good so anyway come on over to bobby victory uh i know some of you already asked uh, one of my viewers actually uh, made a comment that he's coming all the way from kapong to see you to wrap some parts on his car so that's that's great come on over folks all can be discussed and uh, show that you've liked and subscribed to my channel like the video of Pfizer's uh, handiwork here and I'm sure he can work out a good deal for you yep thank you. yes awesome take care you all thank you for watching stay tuned a lot more to come from the saga of the savvy and the saga of the Alfetta begins this is a long-term project don't expect any updates very very soon because it's gonna take a while. I mean, Faiz, it's just to prepare the car. I think it's gonna take you a few days, right? Just to prep the car. Touch up the body, check for imperfections in the paint, smoothen it out, sand it, yeah. Do send me some photos of the uh, process and I'll, I'll post it. So at least my uh, viewers can see the, the rebirth of the 1979 Alfetta. I'm very, very excited to see what you're gonna do with this car. Because uh, like I said, it's the oldest car in my garage. 1979 ex-police car. I'm pretty sure it's an ex-police car actually. So yeah, if your dad was a policeman, <laughs> he might have driven this car. <coughs> Sorry. So anyway, stay tuned. So much more to come. The uh, saga of the Alfetta begins. Such a lovely car. Oh, and Faiz, you must park indoors because you know my rims cost a lot of money. Yeah? People have actually offered to buy these rims for 5,000 ringgit and I said no, sorry. Because these are original Alfa Romeo Speedline alloys which are damn near impossible to get these days. But very, very excited to see what you can do. Yes, folks, really respect your elders. Not just in terms of cars, but in life as well, yeah? They've eaten more salt than you have sugar. What a lovely car. Still a stunning looking thing. 40, four, de four decades old, man, four decades old. And it still looks damn good and runs really well too. So, okay, bro, I shall leave this car in your good hands. Thank you so much. And very, very excited to see what's going to happen. Stay tuned, folks. Lots more to come. Thank you for watching. Bye.